first start i am starting with what lakshmi has designed here okay so i am very impressed with uh, lakshmi and sumit right uh, they basically what i thought was okay we are going step by step but they have uh, tackled say i was saying one step they have tackled four steps ahead right and uh, this is how basically our team works and i am very you know uh, i was very happy that uh, you people are working hard and doing this right so yeah what locks me the right so first she is setting all those variables okay now these are uh, variables are declared okay and then the full name is given marketing cloud right salesforce marketing cloud then she use the uh, builder roset form string function and then she get it into the okay this becomes a array kind of a thing right and with this array oh now she started with a loop okay and then uh, here okay and then she used another very important thing was this particular function called output line right so because uh, of all this uh, more concentration was here with this particular function for me okay output line so here i take this function okay and here okay so here in the heroku app of where you can basically use as a playground you paste it here and i simply run it okay and you know i can see this the only thing here is yeah name one name two name three uh, this is a little bit of a you know masking of things and maybe formatting of things can be done right so yeah everything is small now today we'll be doing a proper am script functions where you will understand all these things so this one is the first one and uh, i'll say uh, very good work lakshmi okay thank you so next i'll go to sumit yeah this guy is uh, you know what i feel is though he speaks very less but uh, his accents are uh, showing things right which means that he is a very hard worker and he is going to excel okay so here what i see is the same same year right which i was basically advocating last time when saying that the functions and other things i'll write you capitalization right so i very go into details when i see all these things so here he use var in the capital say it right if for now only the things you are then do to right uh, this has to be the same okay but uh, i am not see when i am uh, mentoring i go very detail okay don't mind that yeah so, but i am very impressed with this okay so he has this next i and this all this uh, inline this is called inline am scripting okay so he has used inline am scripting very much which is uh, i am very happy to see all this okay so i simply copy his code and i run this and you see uh, sumit kumar is trying to learn and sumit is looking good right so excellent excellent sumit okay thank uh, you sir I, i like this very much now the most you know fascinating and the most what i'll say is uh, to hire okay hire what i'll say i can uh, simply say in hindi the people say na rodi salute for you it's a rodi salute okay the way you have written you know for me it is like five step six step seven step how much step i say you have mm -hmm. excelled so much though yeah though you faced a issue with the middle name i understand yeah. but the way you have written the code okay uh, i said yeah this is what i was teaching right i was yeah. i was not teaching i was not teaching this function last time saying to use build row set function string right you yeah. stick to the same one saying sub string index of yeah okay and this basically when i saw this uh, code okay i said hi yeah And that time I said salute to you. Okay, now you see this.
what she did okay so why i say said see in a single line okay she is using soft string subtract index of in a single line right or uh, who basically does this kind of a uh, programming you know those people who are basically matured hmm. they write lot of functions into one block where they are confident okay when the uh, beginners who start okay they go one by one writing one line one line one line and, and then doing this you have done in a single line right so this is basically i'll say a uh, maturity here okay though i understand uh, here what i see here is right so here uh, you i have basically corrected few lines okay, okay. So okay. i corrected few lines hmm. because what you are missing here was the simple thing was this middle and the last name okay everything was correct here yeah. you have to basically have to take the middle middle and the last name oh oh i see okay. this line, you are using full name yeah yeah okay okay i see I don't, very, yeah my confusion yeah very simple mistake okay that simple okay. mistake is okay to me okay but the okay. way you have designed i like the most thank you shish okay and uh just to optimize this i have just modified so one thing what i saw you people missing was <coughs> giving a comment hmm. yeah when you are yeah. learning yeah. comment is the most important thing so that you have to write a code in such a way that the other person who is basically reading the code should understand it's not you understanding it okay it should be the uh, third person if they go through the code they should understand so you see here uh, what i did see i remove the index the print that you are doing okay for testing okay and i gave a proper comment see i said validate the full name to check if we have spaces right mm -hmm. else we'll consider full name does not have the first and the last name right because you have a state if if statement in your coding hmm? then you extract the soft string right and get the first name okay then the remaining part becomes the middle and the last name if you have the middle and the last name okay so i said this is a middle and the last name now again i added a validation saying that validate if the second part of the string is not empty if the second part of the string is empty then you know you only have the first name you don't have the second and the third name yeah. means not okay okay yeah. so yeah i said if the middle and the last name you is not empty okay now let's go to the middle name and extract the middle name so you got extract the middle name and you extract mm -hmm. the last name okay okay sure. Yeah. and here i said okay if i don't have this spaces in between in the middle and the last name mm. okay so it means the person will be said this as a the middle and the last name will become the last name right oh wow okay okay so here if you see what i'll do here okay i'm going to remove the middle name okay now i am going to print this so what i'll have i have the first name and the last name i don't have the middle name oh nice okay right? yeah now yeah. for this the last condition here is i am using the inline function like what sumit was doing hmm? he was using inline function with if and else right so i am using the same if the first name is not empty print the first name now if the middle name is not empty print the middle name if the last name is not empty print the last name okay if the first name is empty that's why see nothing is there if the block is empty nothing is going to be printed hmm. so okay. even this can be improved okay? yeah when this can be improved let's say what will happen if i don't have anything hmm. let's say i have a space what will happen see Yeah. It will be 